right away, Jughead. It's a matter of life or death. Ah, uh, relax, Archie. Relax. <laughs> Here he is again, the youngster millions of readers of Archie Comics magazine know and love so well. Brought to you by Swift and Company, makers of Swift, Greedy, and Frank, Archie Andrews, and all his gang. Tender beef, juicy pork, known from the West Coast to New York. Swift, Greedy, and Frank, Swift, Greedy, and Frank. For your guarantee of perfection, Swift's Premium Franks now come to you cellophane wrapped in handy one-pound packages. Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, Swift's Premium Franks are then wrapped in the new handy sanitary flavor saver pack and brought to you at the very peak of their tantalizing flavor with all their natural goodness sealed in. So kids, tell your mom that you want Swift's Premium Franks. And mom, get some today. They're delicious. You'll be glad to know that Swift's Premium Franks are economical. There's no waste to them. Every bite is all nourishment. Dinner quality meat. Ask for them today. Swift's Premium Franks in the sanitary one-pound package. And now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's Saturday morning as we look in on the Andrews' home... And we find Mrs. Andrews in the kitchen preparing breakfast as Mr. Andrews has. Well, good morning, dear. Mm-mm. Fred, I said good morning. Please, I heard you, dear. I heard you. Good morning. And please don't shout like that. Shout? Well, Fred, I'm not shouting. Oh, you must be. Well, I'm not. Fred, do you feel all right? Oh, Mary, I feel fine. Delightful. Only my head feels like an atom bomb ready to go off. Oh, you're probably just a little tired. It was awfully late when the Hendersons went home last night. You mean they did go home? Finally? Oh, Fred, you know perfectly well they did. Yes, but somehow I can still hear Mrs. Henderson jabbering away. Oh, how that woman can talk. Jabber, 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 Oh, my head. Well, sit down, dear, and have some breakfast. You'll feel better. Oh, I hope so. No one can feel the way I do and continue to live. Oh, where's my paper? Right here, dear. Oh, thank you. Good morning, I... Mom. Good morning, dear. Good morning, Dad. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> Archie, do you feel all right? Huh? I said, do you feel all right? Oh, sure. Fine. Fine. Archie, are you sure? Gee, Mom, I'm sure I'm sure. But you don't sound all right. Can I help how I sound? No, but uh, you... Will you two please stop shouting at each other? Fred, if the boy's sick, I want to know about it. Well, I'm sick and I don't care who knows about it. <laughs> Fred, there's nothing wrong with you that a few hours of sleep won't cure. Oh, you're so right. Ooh, my head. Archie, have you had an argument with Veronica? No, Mom. Do you owe Jughead any money? No, Mom. Have you been late to school again? No, Mom. Then you're sick. Stick out your tongue. What? Oh, Mom, Archie, but... Archie, you heard me. Stick out your tongue. Mom, I... For God's sake, Archie, stick out your tongue for my sake. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, dear. Good grief. Is that a tongue? It's the only one I got. Do you want to take it down and have it retreaded? Fred, don't be funny. Archie, from the looks of that tongue, I'd say you were sick. From the looks of that tongue, I'd say he was dead. Fred. Archie, let me step there and get in the bed. Mom, I don't have a cold. I'm just a little tired. I got... Go get one. <laughs> now, please leave this room before my head explodes. But, Dad, I... 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 Hurt <laughs> you! Oh, fine. Archie, you see, you are coming down with a cold. Gee whiz, Mom, can't I even sneeze just one... 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 Yes, you! Archie, cold or no cold, I want you out of this room right now. Gee whiz, okay. And I want you in this house. Oh, I hate to see the boy sick, but, well, at least if he goes to bed, I'll have a little peace and quiet around here today. <sighs> well, now, let's see what it says in the paper this morning. Well, I wonder how the market is doing. Let's see. Sports. Society. Oh, yes. Stock market. Hmm. I'm not out of communication. Yes, Archie's got 99 and a half. When it hits 100. Oh, 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 oh. Pardon me, Archie. 
You mean he's got a fever? Yes, dear. I just took his temperature and he has 99 and a half. You'd better call Dr. Higgins right away. Oh, now, Mary. 99 and a half isn't fever. Fred, That's don't n- argue and call the doctor. But Mary, I want some breakfast. Fred, I've I... got to attend to Archie first. I've got to make him some tea. Oh, me. All right, dear. I'll call the doctor. Fine thing. My headaches. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I want to read my paper. What happens? I have to call doctors for Archie. Uh, operator, get me Riverdale 99 and a half. No, oh, I mean uh, Riverdale 628. Uh, fine thing. Call the doctor. Call, oh, hello. This is Fred Andrews. Is the doctor in? Oh, he's not, huh? Well, when, when do you expect him back? No idea at all. Oh, I see. Well, all right. I suppose we'll just have to wait. Yep. Goodbye. Mary, the doctor's not in, and they don't know when he'll be back. Oh, dear. All right. We'll call again later. Yes, dear. I... Oh, great. Fred, answer that. Oh, but Mary, Fred, answer I... answer it, please. I'm busy. Oh, me. All right. I'll answer the door. You think I was a butler or something. Fred, call a doctor. Fred, answer the door. I'm going to change my name to Meadows. <laughs> no good grief. Jughead. Who you expect? Glassy. <laughs> no, Jughead, no, I didn't. Glassy. No. I mean, Jughead. Oh. Gee whiz, Mr. Andrews, you don't look so good. Are you sick? Just, I'm not sick, but I do have a slight headache. Now, gee whiz, you do? Oh, yes. Anything strange about that? No. But do you feel tight? Oh, yes, Jug, a little. Is your mouth dry? Well, yes. Now, Is your back ache? Yes, Jug, had my back aches, too. So what? Well, my Uncle Julius had all those things one time. Oh, what happened? He died. <laughs> oh, great. Jughead, look, I'm not dying. How do you know? Hey, Jug, I... What happens when you lose the Jug, I... One minute you feel fine, and the next minute... Bingo. Gone. <laughs> Jughead, and you don't I... even look good. Jughead, would you please be quiet? Oh, me? Yes, you. Now, look, Jughead. I give you my word of honor that when I'm ready to die, you'll be the first one I'll tell. Gee, thanks. Now, do you, uh, you want to see Archie? Uh-huh. All right, he's upstairs. Now, go on up and please don't make any noise when you get there. Oh, okay. Hey, Archie! Oh, Jughead, that Jughead. Where are you going? I'll call Mrs. Andrews. I'm going up to see Archie. Hey, Jug, come on up. Oh, fine. Jug, I don't think you'd better go up. I think Archie has a cold. She wish I wanted to talk to him. Well, if you want to talk to him, you can stay at the foot of the stairs. Well, okay. Now, Mary, Mary, please, you have to argue with Jughead right now. Fred, I'm all through arguing. Oh, good. Well, for a Jug, month, are you coming up or not? I can't. Oh, great. Why not? Your mother thinks she's got a cold. So what? So I might catch it. Jughead, you... Catch it? Yes. I'm incredible to cold, you know. You're what? Incredible. Jughead, you certainly are incredible. But the word is susceptible. And be quiet. Oh, me? Uh, Jug, the word is susceptible. And speak a little louder. Oh, me? Jughead, would you please be quiet? Oh, me? Yes, it is. I... How are you feeling now? Archie, I'm feeling absolutely loud. I mean rotten. That isn't what you started to say. Jughead, never mind what I started to say. And for the last time, be quiet. Okay, okay. Simon Degree. <laughs> what did you say? I said Simon Degree. It's not Simon Degree. The name is Simon Lee Green. Are you calling me, Dad? Darcy, I'm not calling you or anyone. And if Jughead wants to see you, you'll he'll just have to wait where he is until the doctor gets here. Now, do you understand that, Jughead? Okay, okay. All right. I guess that's settled. Now, well, maybe I can sit down for just a minute. Oh, me. Ah, oh, that's better. I... Oh, great. What? I can hear it. Well, answer it. I will not. What? I said I will not answer it. Well, why not? Because I have a headache and I don't want to get out of this chair. Well, then ask Jughead to answer it. Jughead, answer that. I thought you wanted me to be quiet. Jughead, you may talk long enough to answer the phone. Oh, okay. Hey, Dad! Telephone 
is ringing. Yes, Archie, we know all about it. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Veronica. Who's there? Joe Oh, hi, Joe. Is Archie there? Yeah, just a minute. I'll call him. Archie, it's for you. Who is it, Jughead? Veronica. Who is it, Jughead? Veronica. Veronica. Well, at least we know it's Veronica. Well, it came off the speaker, Archie. He could not get out of bed. Gee whiz, Mom, why not? You've got to stay in bed till the doctor gets here. That's why. Oh, fine. Look, Edgar, just take a message for you. Yes, yeah, Judge. Find out what Veronica wants. Okay. Oh, great. Well, Veronica, Archie can't come to the phone. Was there something special you wanted to ask him? Oh, no, I, I just wanted to ask him how y'all is. I'll find out. Archie, Veronica wants to know how your wall is. Oh, fine. Tell her I got a cold. Hello, Veronica. Archie's got a cold. He has? Oh, the poor, poor boy. Archie, Veronica says you is a poor, poor oh. boy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica, Archie says... That is my son and heir. Veronica. Archie says, <laughs> And I say put an end to that asinine conversation. And Mr. Andrews says to put an end to that. What kind of conversation was that, Mr. Andrews? <laughs> oh, good grief, Jughead. Let me have that phone. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Veronica. Yes? This is Mr. Andrews. Archie is in bed with a cold, and if you want to talk to him, come over later. All right. Not at all. Goodbye. Bye. There, Jughead. Now, do you see how simple it is? I don't know why you kids always make things so complicated. Archie, how do you feel now? Oh. Rotten. Well, I'll be right up with some hot tea, dear. Mary, would you mind... Fred, I'd better call Betty and borrow their vaporizer. Yes, dear, yes, borrow their vaporizer. But do you have to keep shouting? Well, Fred, I have to find out how Archie's feeling, don't I? Oh, me. Um, Riverdale, uh, 247, please. Besides, I don't know why you sit there complaining when your only son is sick and dying. Mary, the boy is not dying. He probably isn't even sick. I don't... Hello? Betty, this is Mrs. Andrews. Could I please borrow your vaporizer? Why, of course, Mrs. Andrews. Is somebody sick? Yes, dear. Archie has a cold. Oh, that's a shame, Mrs. Andrews. I'll bring the vaporizer right over. All right, Betty. I hope it's no bother, dear. Oh, not at all, Mrs. Andrews. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I never saw anything like this. Everybody's shouting and calling people and... Fred, what are you grumbling about now? <laughs> oh, no, nothing, Mary. Not a thing. Good. I have enough to do without you. Oh, me. What's the use? All I want to do is sit in this chair for five minutes. That's all I want. You know, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> See, Mr. Sheriff. Hello, Jughead. I was just over at Betty's house and I heard Archie sick. I thought I'd drop in and see how he is. Oh, hello, Mr. Andrews. Oh, hello, Mr. Sherry. Nice of you to drop in, but my wife isn't allowing any visitors until the doctor sees Archie. Oh, I see. Well, I hope it's nothing serious. Mr. Sherry, I'm positive it's nothing serious. Good. But, say, you don't sound so good. Do you have a cold? Mr. Sherry, the only cold bothering me is Archie's. How can Archie's cold bother you? Stick around and you'll see. I started to have breakfast a while ago, then Archie sneezed. My wife got hysterical, decided he's dying, forgot all about my breakfast, and I probably won't get to eat till lunchtime. Oh, gee, that's too bad, Mr. Andrews. But I know one thing that'll make you feel better. Oh, what's that? A lunch of Swift's Premium Franks. Gee, that makes make anybody feel better. Right you are, Jug. There's no finer lunch in the world than those wonderful Swift's Premium Franks that come in the handy one-pound package, wrapped in cellophane for your convenience and protection. Mr. Sherry, that's music to my ears. Funny, that's Franks to my ears, Jug, be quiet. Well, Mr. Andrews, they may be music to your ears, but Jughead is right. They're plump, delicious Franks made of all dinner quality meat. Swift quality meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet if Archie heard this, he'd forget he ever had a cold. Yes, sir. It's the new flavor saver pack that seals in all the natural goodness of the delicious pork and tender beef. Skillfully blended into one wonderful prank. Mr. Sherry, as soon as the doctor gets her and convinces my wife there's nothing wrong with Archie, I'll have her cook up a half a dozen of those pranks. Ask her to make eight to ten, Mr. Andrews. That's how many you get in each package of Swift's premium pranks. Mm. The pranks that are always made close to where they're sold. Fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast. I'll do that, Mr. Sherry. I... Yes, Mr. Sherry. Yes, Mr. Sherry. Yes, Mr. Sherry. Yes, Mr. Sherry. Yes, Mr. Sherry.
Just for lunch. Jughead, nobody invited you. Well, I guess I'll run along now. But tell Archie I hope he's feeling better. All right, Mr. Sherry. Goodbye now. Bye, Mr. Sherry. Well, maybe you want anything else, Archie? Here comes Mary now. I'll ask you about lunch. Mary. Yes, dear. I'm getting awfully hung... Oh, great. Oh, that's probably Betty now. Yeah, but, Mary, I wanted to ask you about... Hello, Miss Andrews. Well, I brought the vaporizer. Oh, that's wonderful, dear. Thanks ever so much. Mary, would you mind making... Hello, some... Mr. Andrews. Yeah, hello, Betty. Mary, I'm getting a little... Oh, I'll hum... take this right up to Archie's room, Betty. How does it work here? But, Mary, I'm hungry. Hello, Mrs. Andrews. I'll show you. Oh, great. Doesn't anybody around this place care how I feel? I do. Oh, thank you, Jughead. Thanks very much, but please, just go and sit down. She was okay, okay. Well, maybe, just maybe, I can sit down, too. There. Now, if I can... Oh, Mr. Andrews, may I use the phone? Oh. Since you can't locate Dr. Higgins, Mrs. Andrews asked me to call Dr. Jenkins, our family doctor. Yes, yes Betty, you may use the phone. Thank you. Uh, hello, operator. Um, get me... Uh, oh, Riverdale 939, please. Dr. Jenkins is an awfully good doctor, Mr. Andrews. I'm glad. Oh, Hello. Uh, this is Betty Cooper. Could Dr. Jenkins come right over to Mr. Fred Andrews' house? Oh, he isn't there now. Well, when will he be back? Oh, you haven't? Oh, well, all right. Thanks a lot. Bye. He isn't in. That's too bad. Yes, I will. Oh, great. Betty, would you answer the door, please? Oh, of course, Mr. Andrews. Oh, Betty. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing here? Just visiting, Archie. It's Veronica, Mr. Andrews. Yes, I see. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Miss Andrews. Chuck, it. what are you doing over there? Just sitting. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Betty. Hello, Chuck. I didn't see you there either. Yes, but would you all... Oh, you, please. Betty. Yes, hello, Archie. Archie, I... Veronica's here, too, Archie. Betty, would you she please... She Hello, Veronica. Hello, Archie. Oh, Veronica, please oh, don't... Oh, Veronica, hello. Hello, Mrs. Andrews. Would you mind going in the other room? Fred, really, there's no reason to shout. No reason. Come on, the kitchen girl. All right. I'll talk to you, Mrs. Andrews. Uh, oh. Mrs. Andrews. oh, this place is getting to be more like Grand Central Station than 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 than. Than Grand Central Station? <laughs> yes, Juggy. And be quiet. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's better. Now, maybe I can... Thank you. Do you mind if I use the phone? I want to see if I can get Dr. Cummins for Archie. He's our family doctor. Yes, Veronica, you may use the phone. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, hello, operator. Uh, get me Riverdale uh, 493, please. Oh, Dr. Cummins is an awful good doctor, Miss Andrews. Yes, I'm sure. Well, I hope... Oh, hello? Uh, I'm calling for Mrs. Fred Andrews. Is Dr. Cummins in? Well, it's Mrs. Andrews' son. He's got a cold. Oh. Well, do you know when he'll be back? You don't. Oh, I see. Well, all right. Thanks a lot. He's out. Oh, too bad. Oh, Mrs. Andrews. Well, ah, now that they've called all the doctors in town, maybe things will be quieter for a few minutes. I do. What an awful smell. Jughead? Yes? Jughead, do you smell? What? I mean, do you have anything that smells? Licorice candy or anything? No. Bubble gum? No. Are you wearing your father's shaving lotion? No. Maybe it's your hair tonic. Yes, sir, I'll bet you that's what it is. Jug, let me smell your hair. Jug, just bend over so I can smell it. She was okay. No, I don't think so. I... Andrews, what are you doing? Me? I, 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 uh, he says I smell. <laughs> what? Mary, I didn't say Jughead smells, but something smells around here. Fred, of course something smells. It's the vaporizer. Yes, yes I know, but Jughead said... Uh, vaporizer? You mean that odor is from a vaporizer? Oh, come on. Sure, that's just how the vaporizer smells. Oh, good grief. Mary, go shut that thing off before we suffocate. Why, Fred, don't be silly. It's good for Archie. But Mary, come I... Come on, girls. I want to make Archie a mustard pie. Oh, that's a good idea, Mr. Oh, fine. Vaporizer. I want to sit down for a minute before my head falls off and they have vaporizers going. I... Oh, no. Jughead. Answer the door. I just don't have the strength. Nothing to do. What? People can't tell me I smell and then ask me to open the door. Oh, fine. 
All right. Get out. Get it. I'll get it. I have to do everything around here anyway. Yes. It's, oh, Dr. Higgins. Ah, oh, Mr. Andrews. Mr. Andrews, what are you doing out of bed? Oh, I thought I'd get up for a while and... <clears throat> out of bed? Oh, but, Doctor, you I... shouldn't take chances like that, Andrews. You don't look well. It's hot. Here, I better get your temperature right oh, away. But, Doctor, I... Uh, just put this thermometer in your mouth. But I... That's right. Now, hold it there quietly. Now, let me punch your chest. Yes, chest sounds all right. How's the stomach feel? Oh, that hurts. Uh, uh, how's it feel? Uh, stomach's okay. Now, uh, let me try your reflexes. And cross your knee, Mr. Andrews. One chapter with this hammer. There's a well, reflexes are all right. Now open your mouth, Mr. Andrews, and I'll take that thermometer. Yes. Well, yes. I will. Look at that. Ah, I, see. I, hmm. I, that's funny. Temperature's absolutely normal. But doctor, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I'm not the patient. Now, if you just remove your coat... Uh, not the patient. Not the patient. Not the patient. Well, I knew you looked too healthy to be the patient. Of course, this is the patient. <laughs> no, doctor, that's Jughead. He always looks like that. <laughs> well, uh... Who is the patient? My son, upstairs. Your son, upstairs. Oh, well, I better go right up and have a look at him. I'm a busy man, you know. Yes, 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 doctor. Oh, that's all right. Oh, now what? Hello, I'm Dr. Jenkins. Oh, yes, come in, doctor. The patient is right upstairs. All right, I'll stand right up. Doctor? Hey, hey, wait. Yes? Did you say you're a doctor? I did. I received a call from this address. Oh, no, look, doctor, we don't need a doctor. We already have a doctor. You have? Well, then why did you call me? Well, you see, we... Oh, no, pardon me. How do you do? I'm Dr. Cummings. Oh, how do you do? Dr. Cummings. Oh, great. Look, Dr. Cummings, I'm Dr. Jenkins. How do you do? Oh, how do you do, Dr. Cummings? Mr. Andrews, I thought you told me you already had a doctor here. Yes, I did. I didn't know this was be a consultation, Mr. Andrews. It isn't. I mean, it wasn't. You see, I... I... don't understand. Is there another doctor in this house or not? Yes, I... I beg your pardon, Dr. Jenkins. Are you implying that I am not a doctor? Oh, no, 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 Dr. Cummings. No, not at all. But Mr. Andrews said... Well, Mr. Andrews, I should say that... Oh, Dr. Jenkins. And uh, Dr. Cummings. How do you do, Dr. Higgins? How do you do, Dr. Higgins? Oh, surgery. <laughs> Just quiet. I did not ask for a consultation. Dr. Higgins. I did not ask for a consultation. Dr. Jenkins. I didn't ask for a consultation. Dr. Cummings. Uh, really, gentlemen, this is my case, you know. Oh, Doctor, your I... case, Dr. Higgins. I received the call. Yes, but your no. case, Dr. Jenkins. I received the call. Yes, but look, you all. And furthermore, I don't understand your anger, Dr. Higgins. Dr. Higgins. Anger, Dr. Cummings. Who's angry? You are, Dr. Higgins. It's not good for your blood pressure. Oh, yes. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. I have no blood pressure. He says he no has... No blood pressure. <laughs> a doctor coming. Do you hear that? It's it's ridiculous. Oh, is that so? Well, you just feel that pulse. Oh, no. Now they're taking each other's pulses. Pulse doesn't mean a thing. I know, but... Oh, is that so, Dr. Cummings? Well, will you submit to a pressure test? No. no. Doctor, listen. I have no pressure. You show all the signs. Oh, Dr. Higgins, when did you get here? Oh, Mrs. Andrews. And Dr. Jenkins. And Dr. Cummings. Lord, Jones is my name. <laughs> Just be quiet. Fred, what in the world are all these doctors doing here? Well, I'm trying to well, figure I, that out. I, 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 I was trying to figure that out. Dr. Higgins. Dr. Higgins. Dr. Higgins. Look, Dr. Higgins. Look, quiet. Quiet. That's better. Now, listen to me, all of you. This nonsense has gone far enough. Too far, in fact. Gee, what I... said? What's all the noise? Archie, what are you doing out of bed? Well, Dr. Higgins said there's nothing the matter with me. What? That's right. All the boy needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Oh, no. Gentlemen, look. Evidently, this has all been a mistake from the beginning, and I apologize to all three of you. You were called unnecessarily. So, if you'll all send me a bill for this visit, I'll be glad to pay each of you, and we can forget the whole matter. Now, is that all right? Of course, of course. It's not the matter of the bill, Mr. Andrews. Just the idea of being called for no reason. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, indeed. But we might as well waste no more time. Come, gentlemen. Good day. Good day. Good day. Uh. That was about as embarrassing a scene as I've been through in some time. But Quiet! I'll do the talking around here from now on. And well, that dear. goes for you too, Mary. <laughs> yes, dear. Yes, dear. Does that go for me too? Yes, Jug, it certainly does. 
Now, I hope you can all see how utterly ridiculous this whole procedure has been. Everyone saying someone was sick, calling all the doctors in town, and all the while no one was sick at all. Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. And hereafter, by George, I want you people to pay some attention to what I say. Now, do you hear me? Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. Now, Archie, if the doctor said you can go out, take your friends and go. Right now. Okay, Dad. Then, for me, I intend to stay right in this armchair all afternoon. And I am not... 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 Oh, no! Is there a doctor in the house? For goodness sake, we should have left him stay. you really know what you're getting when you ask for Swift's Premium Franks. Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast so you know they're fresh. Made by Swift so you know they're top quality. Ask for them today. Swift's Premium Franks in the new handy one-pound cellophane package. And while you're at your dealers, be sure to ask for Swift's Brookfield Sausage. Perfect for breakfast, ideal for a quick, easy-to-fix dinner. Swift's Brookfield Sausage is just right. Yes, just right. Not too mild, not too spicy, but seasoned to just right perfection. Ask for Swift's Brookfield Sausage, the sausage with the just right seasoning. And don't forget that your dealer has a tempting variety of Swift's Premium Table Ready Meats. Delicious Swift's Premium Cooked Ham is being featured this week. It's ready to eat, ready to enjoy. You'll find Swift's Premium Cooked Ham especially handy for holiday buffet spreads or for snacks and luncheon anytime. Now, back to the Andrews. It's the next morning. Fred, how do you feel? Oh, fine, Mary, fine. You know, that treatment of Dr. Higgins worked wonders. Well, that's good, dear. But you'd still better stay home today and rest up. Yes, dear, I think I'll do that. A nice, quiet day around the house won't do me any harm. That's right, dear. You just... <laughs> Oh, no! You've been listening to another chapter of The Adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Jampel and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Today, the role of Archie was played by Charles Mullen in the absence of Bob Hastings. Jughead was Harlan Stone. Mom and Dad Andrews are played by Alice Yorman and Arthur Cole. Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Rice. This program is produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen next Saturday when Swift and Company, makers of Swift's premium pranks, brings you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Sherry wishing you all a very pleasant weekend. So long. <laughs> Swift and Company invite you to stay tuned for Meet the Meat, which will be heard immediately over most of these stations. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.